Today we're gonna to be going over five wide receiver press releases that you need to know. Now the first release we're gonna be going over today is called a wide step release. So a wide step release, and we're gonna show this release full speed in a second here, but a wide step release, let's pretend the quarterback is lined up to my left, so my left foot is up. You wanna use this when you have a DB who is lined up in outside shade press. So that's what this orange cone is going to be simulating. So we have an outside shade press coverage guy. Let's say for example, I have to run a route like a corner route, a post route, let's, let's say a corner route. I'm not gonna just run up to this guy, give a move and force this outside release. When a DB is lined up in outside shade press, his goal is to stop the outside route and to stop the outside release. So if I force it, he's going to widen and that's going to cut down the field space that I have for my quarterback to run that actual corner route. So I have to get comfortable taking an inside release even when I have outside shade press. And this wide step allows me to do that. We we're trying to sell or we we're trying to threaten this DB with an outside speed release to try to get him to move off his platform so I get a free release to the inside. So the first step I like to use on this release is called a kick step. So a kick step is what you would use with your back foot. You kick behind your front foot as quickly as you can to load up your hips so you can throw your hips into this wide step to sell, step outside the DB frame to get him to move, and then we could take that inside release to get up into this route. So the first release, guys, is going to be a wide step release, kick step, throw wide, throw my hip, your head should stay even with your knee to sell this thing. I'm going to show you how this is going to look full speed. <laughs> Now this next release we're going to go over you guys builds off of this wide step and this is called a double up release. So this green cone is going to be simulating the DB. My left foot is lined up like my quarterback is lined up to the inside here. So a double up is what you would want to use to attack a DB's leverage to the inside. Let's say for example I have to run a fade route. You don't have to always do this on a fade route. You can do this pretty much on any route where you have inside shade press and you are trying to release to the outside. But let's say the green cone's the DB. All great wide receivers can pair their releases together and make their releases look similar. So that's what we we're trying to do with that wide step. So the first step is that kick step. I jab to the outside. It's not as big of a step. It's a step that's quick. It's inside of your frame because we were trying to push off of this step to attack this inside leverage for this DB. Now, I use the example of a fade route. Why would I say that? So when a DB's lined up inside shade, his goal is to prevent the inside release, prevent the inside route, and force us to the sideline. A lot of guys, when they see this inside shade look, they'll just take off and go. That DB's going to get into my hips and squeeze me to the sideline. So what we have to do, we got to make sure we're trying to threaten him where he doesn't want us to go. That's the best way to get that DB to move, to create more space for myself to the outside. So I'm going to show you how this release is going to look full speed. Now, before we get into this full speed example of this double up release, you guys, if you're a wide receiver or a quarterback and you would like to train with us this off season, we are coming out to eight more states across the country for two day long QB and wide receiver training camps. Next up on our camp tour, we're going to be coming out to Chicago, Illinois. Then we'll be heading out to Buffalo, New York, Atlanta, Georgia, Houston, Texas, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Detroit, Michigan, Boise, Idaho, and Los Angeles, California. So guys, if you want some more information on that, how you could sign up to train with myself, my staff of coaches, I'll be working with every single athlete individually at these camps. Check out that very first link in the description below. We'd love to have you there. Let's get back to this video. <laughs> Now this next release, you guys, is going to be something called a hesitation and go release. So you want to use this when you have a DB who's lined up inside shade, and this is a great release because you can react off of this release, but we'll get into that throughout the course of this video. So I have a DB who's lined up inside shade. So remember, if I have to run an outside breaking route, like let's say a fade route, comeback, out route, whatever, or even if I have to run an inside breaking route, post route, dig route, whatever, this DB's inside shade for a reason, to stop the inside breaking route so I don't want to force the inside release. I want to get comfortable taking the outside release. Now, I talk a lot about off the line of scrimmage. You have inside shade. You want to attack his leverage. The goal to attack his leverage is to get that DB to hold to the inside. Now, there's a way that you could use a hesitation release to the outside to get this DB to hold. So, anytime a DB is taught, DBs are literally taught this, you guys. When you slide to the outside or hesitate to the outside, they're taught to stay patient because as a receiver, when we slide to the outside, we're trying to get them to jump so we could slip back underneath. Now, there's a reaction element to that and we'll build off of it as this video goes on, but this release is a great way to get that DB to hold inside, expect the inside route, so I could get some more separation outside. So the first step of this is going to be with that kick step. So you're going to kick with your back foot behind your front foot to load your hips. Then we're going to take almost a hesitation like hop or skip with this left foot off the left 
and then just take off and go. So it's kick step, hesitation, hop, take off and go. And we're gonna show full speed in a second here. So we kick, hesitation, so that DB sits to the inside. Now you might be asking, well, let's say I gotta run a post, let's say I gotta run a fade, and when I do this, this DB jumps to the outside, I can just put the brakes on and go. That's the beauty of that hesitation skip or that hesitation hop. It allows us to get a read on the DB when we are slowing the pace. But the version we're working right now, again, you kick step, hop, take off and go. Make sure when we hesitate, we're attacking at a 45 degree angle. We're not going too flat. If I go too flat, DB could sit and still cut off the fade. Or if I want to run inside, we're going to run right into him. Attack at a 45 to make him make a decision to either jump or stay home. I'm going to show you how this should look full speed. <laughs> Now this next release we're going over you guys is this hesitation and like I guess you could say reaction jab release. It builds off of that hesitation go release. So remember that last release that we went over, DB's lined up inside shade, I come off the ball, I hesitate and I'm trying to do that skip, that hop at a 45 degree angle to make him make a decision. He could either jump outside and play the fade or he could sit to the inside and I could just take him on the fade or take him on the outside release. So what do I do if he jumps? So we come out here, so this orange cone is representing the DB, the green cone is going to represent where we're putting the brakes on, I guess you could say. You could do this and work on this without a DB. You don't need a partner for this if you set up the cones how we have the cones set up. So the red cone is my line of scrimmage. Orange is the DB. Green is where the DB is jumping to. So set go. We come off the ball. He DB jumps. We just can put the brakes on, push and react and take that inside release. Guys, press releases are a lot about having a plan. We see a DB's leverage. Is he inside? Is he outside? Whatever. But also if he takes away our plan, we have to be able to react on the fly. That's why I like that hesitation skip or slide release. I'm going to show you how this is going to look full speed. <laughs> Now, before we get into our fifth press release today, you guys, that builds off of that hesitation slide, if you're a wide receiver and you would like me to make a custom workout plan for you, check out that second link below in the description where you guys can send me film of you guys working out at practice, training clips, clips of just yourself, just like the video that we're filming today, working releases, routes, whatever, and you want me to break it down, give you audio and video feedback, and then create an eight week long gym and on-field workout schedule custom to where you need to improve, guys. Check out that second link in the description below. We'd love to have you guys on our new custom workout plan service. Now this next release you guys is going to build off of that hesitation skip like we said and I like this release on like a goal line fade or maybe like a fade route where you're maybe like in the red zone like 20 going in okay. So we have a DB who's lined up inside shade right. Maybe a couple times we have worked that hesitation and go. Maybe a couple times we have worked a little hesitation and jab and we take the inside release. So now we're in this DB's head. This is why we want to pair our routes and our release together. Guys, you don't need to learn five or six complicated releases. You need to learn five or six releases that you're super comfortable with that you can make look the exact same. So that's what this is ultimately doing. So I have a DB who's lined up inside shade. We come off, we do that same hesitation skip. We're going to put the brakes on with my right foot, throw back and jab to the inside with my left foot like that double up release we showed in the very beginning part of this video to try to get him to hold to the slant. And then we can release to the outside to that back pylon on a goal line fade. So guys, I'm going to show you how this release is going to look full speed. Ooh. 